Hey y'all, welcome to my channel Made by Maddie. I'm Maddie and I make things. Today, we're gonna go over how to make royal icing for decorating your sugar cookies. So put on your apron, wash your hands, and let's get to work. All right, so we have our ingredients and some of our supplies to make our royal icing. So there's actually two different ways that you can make royal icing. You can actually make it with powdered meringue or egg whites, either from the carton or an actual egg. So in the description box, I'll put the recipes in here for both of them. So whatever you have on hand or whatever you prefer, um, you have options available. So today I'm gonna go ahead and use my meringue powder. Um, so we'll go ahead and get those ingredients mixed into this bowl. All right, so um, meringue powder, can't really see it over here, but powder sugar. And then I have my sifter because I am gonna sift my powder sugar, make sure that there's no lumps in there, just makes for a nice silky smooth royal icing. We'll also be using water today and vanilla extract to flavor. Um, royal icing is pretty versatile, just like buttercream is. If you want, you can totally use a different type of extract to kind of give a punch of, of a different flavor into your cookies. Um, and then there's also caro syrup. Um, this is optional. If you want like a shiny look to your royal icing, you can go ahead and add that to that. And then if you were to be using egg whites today, you would need to use cream of tartar in order to stabilize those egg whites. All right, so in my bowl, I am going to combine four cups of powdered sugar, three tablespoons of meringue powder, approximately five tablespoons of water, that will adjust based off of consistency, and then one teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sifting out my powder sugar one cup at a time. A quick uh, tip, if you buy your powder sugar in the bags of the grocery store, about a half a bag is four cups. So you can do a single batch um, with half a bag or if you wanna double your um, recipe, you can use a whole bag. My thing is like not wanting to work today. So we're gonna go ahead and shift sifters. Now that we have our powder sugar sifted into our mixing bowl, we're gonna go ahead and add our meringue powder. So again, three tablespoons meringue powder two and three and then we're going to go ahead and transfer over to the KitchenAid okay so we have our powdered sugar and our meringue powder in here and I'm just going to go ahead and stir those two together really quickly And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my teaspoon of vanilla. Again, I'm using a half a teaspoon right now. I can't find my teaspoon, so don't be alarmed. I swear it's only one teaspoon I'm putting in there. And with this on, we're gonna go ahead and slowly add in our five tablespoons of water.
I'm gonna go ahead and pause that real quick and scrape down the sides of my mixer and the bottom. Now, if you're having issues with it, you can see it's kind of crumbly and really, really thick. Just slowly add a little bit more water. down again so we want this just to come together but we don't want it too loose because with royal icing you have different consistencies you have a consistency for outline you have the flooding and then you also have like a decorating consistency um, so you want to start off with the thickest consistency and then add water from there it's a lot easier than trying to add the powder sugar to change up your consistency So about medium, I'm just going to mix it for about two minutes. All right, so now we have our royal icing nice and mixed and combined. Go ahead and clean our whisk off. So you can see it's really stiff right now. Um, this would be a, <laughs> you'd actually loosen this up just a little bit, but this would be a good consistency for some of your fine detail decorating that you don't want um, to sink into the cookie or anything. You want it to stand up and give that dimension off the cookie. Um, so from here, you can just pull out a little bit, put it in a bowl or in your piping bag um, if you need to color it or not will depend if you put it straight into a piping bag or if you put it into a bowl to color. From here, we're gonna go ahead and loosen this up a little bit towards our outline consistency and then our flood consistency. So I'm going to grab one little scoop. I'm setting it aside for some of my final touch decorating. Slowly add a little bit of water. You're going to be starting and stopping your mixer a lot from here because you're going to want to test the consistency of your royal icing. All right. pull up so it's breaking a little bit I don't know if you can see it in the bowl but you want it to kind of pull up like that so this would be a pretty good consistency for our outline because um, it's gonna it's gonna hold and then we can go ahead and do our flooding from from there so again I'm gonna Pull out another little scoop. And I'll be using this to outline my cookies. And now we're gonna move to our flood consistency. So when we get to the flood part, when you pull this up, it should string off and drizzle off. And as you kind of make little 
swirls and patterns in your bowl, what you're gonna look for is where you see this line that I dropped. You're gonna count to about 10 seconds and it should dissolve into the rest of the icing in about 10 seconds. And that's gonna give you your good flood consistency. And don't forget to continue to scrape down the sides and the bottom of the bowl because royal icing is pretty sticky. So you wanna make sure your consistency is even throughout your entire batch of your icing. Okay. So I'll try to get in here and show you. So I'm picking it up and it's not quite drizzly. Maybe a little bit, I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it hasn't quite dissipated into the rest of the royal icing. So I'm gonna take this a little bit further and add just a little bit more. So this is already looking better. It immediately starts flooding off. So we have our patterns. So let's go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. So that is our flood consistency right there. And we can get ready to color it. So from here, just divide it out into your bowls and you can add your food coloring and mix it up really nice. And then you're going to place it into your piping bags. Keep in mind that the icing colors will actually brighten overnight. So even though it might look lighter, it's gonna show up a little bit darker on your cookie. So if you're a little bit scared of matching colors or what it's gonna turn out, go ahead and put it into your icing bag and put it in a refrigerator overnight and then bring it out, bring it up a little bit to room temperature and knead it around a little bit more. And that's gonna show you a little bit more of an accurate color. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring my flood consistent royal icing. Um, I'm just gonna divvy it up into some bowls here to color it in different colors. going with some pinks and purple type colors for my Valentine's Day cookies since February is right around the corner. So you're just going to add a little bit at a time. Don't forget that the color does darken up a little bit overnight and once it dries on your cookie. Once you have that all mixed up, the best way that I have found to put my icing into my piping bags is to use a tumbler. So I have that right here. Just open up your icing bag. If you're gonna use any sort of tips, um, you're gonna put your tips in here. You're gonna cut off the tip and then put your metal tip in there 
make sure it's nice and nice and tight in there. And then you'll put this in here. A lot of times I don't use tips at all when decorating with royal icing. So I just put straight in here and you're put that over the cup just like that. And this is gonna allow you to kind of get into your piping bag without a bunch of it on the sides or trying to finagle. Holding a, a piping bag and your royal icing and trying to scoop, it's just kind of a nightmare. So go ahead and scoop this into here. And there you just pull up. And twist off, tie off. They make these cool little rubber bands too that seal these. And then if you aren't using your piping tip, you're just gonna cut the tip of this off to however thick you want your line. And you are all set to go. So I've added the recipes in the description box. Keep in mind that if you're gonna use egg whites instead of meringue, it's gonna be slightly different just as far as the order that you add your ingredients and mix them together. So when you're using your egg whites, you're going to put into your mixing bowl your cream of tartar and powdered sugar and mix those together and then you'll slowly add your egg whites from there and vanilla extract or whatever extract that you plan on using. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to go ahead and comment. Also, please like and subscribe and tell all your family and friends about my YouTube channel. And if you have anything specific you're looking at learning how to bake, you want tips, tricks, or anything, please also reach out, comment below, and I'll do a video for you. So I hope you learned something. Stay tuned. I'll be posting some of my decorating videos of uh, my Valentine's cookies. So thank you.